backyard ultras a few years ago not many people had heard of them but they've become more and more popular i've never run one myself but i'm about to leave the warm and home comforts here and head out into this cold dark slightly rainy night because God's Own Backyard Ultra 2021, the inaugural event, began this morning at 8 a.m. So competitors have just headed out on their 10th lap, 9th lap, 10th lap, <laughs> something like that. I'll see how many yards they've completed when I get there. But my friend Eleanor is running and I am going to go and take her some hot food. So she's requested chips. So I've decided to turn up with a whole load of chips. There's some cold runners who are doing really well and have been going for a fair few hours now already. So as they head into the night, I think chips will be a welcome treat for them all. So I'll explain the concept of a Backyard Ultra as I go through the video and as we go through the night. But for now, I better get myself over to the chippy and get some chips for these runners. I've got a cool box which I've put some hot water bottles in so hopefully these are going to stay nice and hot for the runners when they come in and they finish their 6pm lap. Well I'm loaded up with chips, just crossing the train line now as you can hear and then heading out into the dark to find these runners and race HQ. So I've made it to race HQ and the first runner from the next wave. First runners, there's a little group of them, are coming in there. Well done guys. So I'm just waiting for Eleanor to come in. It's really nerve wracking. I think I'd rather be running. Oh my goodness. Um, so at the moment she's got she's got 11 minutes to come in and be ready to go back out again. So <laughs> hope she comes soon. Hello, hello. 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 11 hello. minutes. Hello. 11 minutes. Hello. 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 What do you need to do? Yes, they're here. Come and sit down. So Eleanor's eating some chips, but the first whistle's just gone. So there's a whistle at three minutes to, and then two minutes, and then one minute, and then there's a bell. You need to be there before it. One more minute until they all need to be ready to go. Just about to start the next lap. Well done guys! Go on Beth! Well done! See you soon! Well done guys! Good luck! And they're off into the darkness. So I was planning on filming something during that gap but we've just been sat chatting and it's actually really nice. So hooray for having fun crewing and um, so maybe between this next app then I'll explain a bit more. <laughs> Good luck guys, you've got this! <laughs> miles in they've just started lap number 12 or is it 13 <laughs> 12 I think should be keeping better count and there's 27 runners left no women dropped out until this last lap so they are doing so well so what are they doing what is a backyard ultra so the distance is 6,706 meters every hour so that's about 4.2 miles and that can be completed as quickly or slowly as you like as long as you are back and ready to go again when the bell rings on the next hour so on the hour every hour 6706 meters and that distance came about by dividing 100 miles by 24 hours so the average pace overall is 100 miles in 24 hours 
an amazing concept. Well done, guys! Lap 14, off they go. Just helped a few competitors back to their cars with their things. And now I'm heading back. I need to make a pot noodle for Eleanor before she gets back from the next lap. So everybody who's um, leaving now, they'll all get a DNF. Only one person will be left as the winner of the race. And that's only if they manage to complete one additional lap. If, um, if say, the last two standing, both then don't finish the lap, the race will have no winners. So that's the thing about backyard ultras. You might end up running for days, <laughs> running miles and miles and miles with no end in sight. And then when the race finishes, there'll still be no winner. So it really is a crazy ultra concept. The first backyard ultra, big backyard ultra, um, was from Lazarus Lake. So I'm sure that everyone's heard of this sort of adventure. Um, has heard of the Barclay Marathon, so that's where it started really. And I'm so pleased that this sort of madness has come to the UK. <laughs> because Backyard Ultras, it's amazing. It's really good watching everyone's journeys. So let's go and see how they're doing and let's go and make a pot noodle. I'm about to make Eleanor's pot noodle, but beef and tomato, judging you, Eleanor, on your choice of pot noodle flavour. I'm proper laughing at the pot noodle because they come with inspirational messages. So Eleanor's pot noodle says, success is 90% inspiration. <laughs> okay then, thanks pot noodle. This is Eleanor here, ready to start her 15th lap. You're doing so well. <laughs> and she loves the pot noodle. <laughs> I may have dissed your pot noodle choice. <laughs> Waiting for the bell. <laughs> well done, guys! <laughs> Two minute whistles just gone. Eleanor's just going to have some soup. She's doing ridiculously well. There's still runners coming in while the whistles are going, so <laughs> two minutes until they need to go. <laughs> Lap 16. <laughs> go on, guys. Well done. <laughs> this is the marquee where we're all collecting all the support crews waiting in this tent for the runners to come back. And then the dark night. And then race HQ. Let's go and check the board. They've just started lap 16, 15 laps completed. 19 runners. Well, no, 18 runners out on course because another one's just had to leave. 62.5 miles completed. Got one barbecue there, and we're working on a fire pit up here. Signing up for lap 17. The record's 85 laps, which is like 364 miles. <laughs> We've got a way to go. <laughs> I think we're down to 18 runners now. Two women. Go on, Eleanor! Well done, everyone! Well done, guys! Well, it's half past 12 and it's all gone a bit quiet now. We're into those hours in the middle of the night where you start to dip. So yeah, hopefully the runners are doing well out on course and we'll see them in about 20 minutes and check in and see how they're doing.
That's it. They're starting the 1 a.m. lap. <laughs> Amazing. So Eleanor is doing amazingly well. I think at the end of this lab, it's 75 miles. So I've just come to have an explore through the woods and into this lovely lit up section. It's so nice. Um, drinking my hot chocolate <laughs> and yeah, loving life. This is so exciting. Backyard ultras. <laughs> I should have explained actually that the daytime loop is trails. So that was up through Bramley Fall Woods. And then the nighttime laps, that's along the Leeds Liverpool Canal. So yeah, they would just be running kind of backwards and forwards up here, one mile out that way and back, and then one mile the other way and back to make up 4.2 miles. So yeah, hopefully they were having fun out there. <laughs> it's definitely that hard time of night now though. That's what the runners are running in. Pitch black. <laughs> the pitch black night. But here at the Scout Hut, it's pretty lovely for us guys. So we're still having a bit of a party back in the tent. So heading back there now. <laughs> Put some music on and have some fun while we're waiting for these runners to come back. 75 miles at the end of this lap and there's only 14 runners left out there. They're on lap 18 at the moment, 17 yards completed. How are we doing? Have we lost a few more then? Well done, guys. Here we go, let's go. Over here, Sam. Here she is. Well done. Well done. Hey. Well done. Plenty of time. Two in the morning. It's just started to rain. Off they go. Go on, guys. Well done. Well done, guys. Go on, Eleanor. Well done. They've just gone out on yard 19. Still 14 of them left, and they've finished 75 miles. It's just gone 2.30 in the morning, and oh, it's a bit... Dragon breathy now, as Poppy would say. I've got dragon breath, mummy. <laughs> it's getting cold. Um, but yeah, so I need to head home now, get a little bit of sleep before I need to drive and get Poppy from her party in the morning. So yeah, I need safety first. So I'm gonna head home, get some sleep, and then if we can, if runners are still out, head back tomorrow and see how these guys are doing. So good luck everybody running and I really look forward to seeing how you're doing. Back at the station now, nearly back at my car. I just did that thing where you hover on the course and think, am I going to wait and see them one last time? But I need to get home to bed. I just want to stay here, it's so exciting. What a concept. Thank you Lazarus Snake. Ten years of backyard archers. What a way to celebrate. So I didn't make it back to the race this morning. I went to get Poppy and not long after I left in the night, then Eleanor pulled up on yard 20 after running 81 miles. She did amazingly finishing 14th overall and second female, just so impressed. Now it's 12 hours on from when I left and there's three competitors still out there on course. So it's ever so exciting. I don't know when they'll finish and that is the beauty of a backyard ultra. 
Yeah. How many yards have they got left in them? They're about 130 miles in, something like that now. <laughs> it's just amazing, but still miles off that world record of 85 yards. So, wow, love this crazy running game. But yeah, good luck, guys. I will post um, on the next screen, I'll post the final result as and when that comes. So, good luck to you guys still out there.